around every corner. It's just a breathtaking view. It is really like incredible here. It feels really, really wild. No grazing livestock, just the landscape. It's absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> we were four days in to a 10 day trip exploring the Isle of Mull, a small island just off the west coast of Scotland. Rather than follow a strict route, our plan was to get off the beaten track and explore the natural features around the island. And there were a lot. We'd made our way along the southern coastline and found Mull to be completely packed with nature. And after four weeks of solid sunshine, the Scottish weather had finally broken. And so the conditions were changing every five minutes. We'd also managed to get swamped by hundreds of ticks on us, on our only cycle gear and our camping equipment. We still had six days and the majority of the island left to explore, but this had put a big question mark on the rest of the trip. All right, it's three in the afternoon. We have literally got hundreds off and now we have a a no-no bag, so this stuff is closed, which is all completely covered Hazardous in ways. ticks. We've got maybe bags where <laughs> potentially, if worse comes to worse, we could maybe wear them and just pick them off. And then we've got protect these clothes at all costs bag. It's a 30 mile route and the route is meant to be beautiful. And I'm hoping we can potentially spy some sea eagles. The plan was to take things as they came gradually pick the rest of the critters off and enjoy the rest of the island. And that all started with a famous flapjack. Very good flapjack. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, we're gonna leave another Google review. <laughs> the Penny Gale Post Office have become pretty famous for its flapjacks, views from the front and their friendly cat. And we can now confirm they were all outstanding. We set off down the road and were quickly reminded why it had been so hard to cover much distance on the island. Within five miles we'd spotted two otters off the coastline and straight after that a fellow cyclist pulled us over to point out a white-tailed eagle's nest. These kind of things just seemed to happen around every corner on Mall, and you just spent the day cycling along with a beaming grin. This was one of those sections where everything just fell into place perfectly. We decided not to try and rush and make it to a shop before closing time, and instead just thought we'd take in the scenery. We'd gone slow, stumbled across a really big herd of deer by the side of the road, and just happened to go past a food place literally two minutes before they stopped serving. So thank you Taste of Mall, and all finished off perfectly in time to find a pitch and wander down to the coastline for sunset. So we're over halfway through the trip. We have got through pretty much all of the ticks, so with no more talking of ticks, 
So today we're going to take an off-road track sort of up towards the north. Sun shining, fun route ahead. Okay. The majority of the routes so far had been on tarmac and even though the roads had been really quiet, it felt really nice to get off into this forestry section and away from any kind of cars. Bike trips, we always try and swing by local distilleries to add to our miniature collection. Some years down the line, I think it would be really cool to look back and just remember all the adventures attached to them. <laughs> and who am I kidding? It's also a pretty good excuse for an afternoon whiskey. And we definitely do feel more at home in natural landscapes, but we do really love just going for a slow wander through towns too, just following our feet and seeing what we find. Key to a happy backpacking life, I think, is make sure your standards are pretty low. We need a shelter. <laughs> it's wet and windy. It was meant to be less rainy today. Uh, but it's more windy. But the thing about bad weather is, it just makes the sunshine feel even better. Two days, day and a half of solid rain. Yeah. It's, it's, it's worth it. Dry my socks. <laughs> Drag myself. Are you ready? Off to waterfalls. This was one of those super rare times when you get an incredible downhill section but don't actually remember much of a climb getting there. It was like Muller transported us on top of a hill. We even had a tailwind. And today our mission was to find a waterfall.
having to really psych myself up for the swim is beautiful and I know I regret it if I don't. And normally summer I don't need any kind of cycling up, but uh, I think off the back of quite a like wet, windy trip, we've not got really many clothes, my towel is already soaked. It will make things not very easy for the next couple of days, but I will regret it if I don't do it. So yeah, gonna have to do it. This place is unreal. It's so nice. I thought it was going to be really cold, but it's not. There's literally nobody else around. It's fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Natural swimming pool. Incredible. He's, he's more, no. He's four. He's four. Nothing like a post with <laughs> wind and rain to warm you up. But I'm pretty sure there is an eagle over there. And uh, it would like, waves are laughing really hard. It feels all like pretty wild. <laughs> feels like we stepped into another season. Yeah, it does. I'm really cold and I've got I just really like, I'm in like the bloody tinier shorts because one of the shorts have got really ticky and uh, yeah, that's cycling in Scotland. Rain, <laughs> sunshine, wind, rain, sunshine and more wind. That's how it got in Mull. But regardless of the conditions, it was absolutely beautiful. Coming to the end of our 10 days on the Isle of Mall, and it was safe to say that we were exhausted, but still in awe. And this felt like the perfect way to tie it all together. Surrounded by peaks, a really choppy sea, loads of sheep poop around us, and a big herd of cows with the bull roaming nearby, eating dinner whilst getting pummeled by the wind. You really felt nature on Mall. And it had verge and overwhelming at points, but that had also been part of its charm too. We tucked in, grateful for a bit of calm in the coming days, but knowing that this would be a trip we would never forget. So all of the cows that went past at night are now coming back, including the Right, so this is the last, our last pack up. Yeah, our last morning on Marla. And it has been a crazy trip. It has trip. been mind blowing in so many ways. You've blown our minds. I'm ready for a little bit of respite. Yeah. And then for our next Scottish island. Yeah, you know it's been a good trip when you feel like you need a holiday after it. <laughs> right, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one. Until I'm clean again. Shine bright behind the clouds, but don't you And bringing everything to a close, we bowed some pretty wild winds on the way to the ferry port, but then saw a white tailed eagle. It seemed like a perfectly fitting goodbye from this incredible island.